you mentioned that a number of people seem to have a lot of leads. They think they need more leads. But can you just tell me, tell everyone what, what you told me, which was about the number of leads and closing them? And do you remember that conversation? Yeah. A lot of the people that I consult with, um, they they seem to want to put all of their energy into marketing. How do I get more leads? If I get more leads, that means I'm going to get more sales. And it's not necessarily the case. More leads is just more leads. Now, when I'm consulting with someone, the first thing that I go through is where they're at right now. How many actual leads are you getting in? Like we talk, or, or, or coming into your business. Because chances are you have the opportunity to turn those into members without any extra marketing expense or doing anything different other than getting better at your sales process and, and better at your presentation, so to speak. So in a situation where, you know, you're getting phone calls and emails and walk-ins, you want to track that and know where you're at. I had a client, uh, you know, just recently, they thought they weren't getting enough leads because they, they were only getting, you know, 12 new members a month. And when we sat down and we figured it out, they were getting 50 leads per month. 50 leads per month. In my system, you'll be closing 30 of those leads. So you're going to be doubling your membership if you follow this. Now, I know that sounds like a crazy claim. And, and you know, everybody's results are going to vary a little bit. But for the most part, this is how it works. You have a process and they naturally will say yes to you if you have a good program too. I mean, that's a key component to it. They have to have a, you have to have a good program, but you probably get enough leads right now to retire on. I mean, I have clients that get 30 leads a month. This is no joke. I, sh I, I, I put the text up at, at St. Louis of the slide. He sent me a text. I got 30 leads. That doesn't seem like a lot of leads. But you know what? He signed up 24 members. And he booked 28 appointments out of that. And he's been a student of mine for, for nine months. That's a huge difference compared to the year before where he got eight, where he signed up eight out of that. Okay? So the leads that you have coming in now, you need to just get better at, at converting those leads to members. And it's really ultimately comes down to caring about them. If you care why they're there, you're going to be able to sell them a membership a lot more often. How do they know you care? Because you're asking these questions. You're asking why. Why are they there? You're asking, you know, you're understanding their motivations for being there. You're not having somebody that's there for weight loss or getting in shape or self-defense and telling them how great your competition team is. That's awesome that you have a great competition team, but if they're not in there for competition team, you're, you're talking to thin air.